Welcome back, everyone, to the last exhibition replay for today. I remain your host, Dominic, or Chad here, whichever you prefer. And for this last game, we have Reposter on Shield Bots against Dave the Brave with tanks. On Vantage. Oops. So, Reposter with shields again. Again, shields were buffed recently. And... Oh, we're not going for Terraform. Ah, I thought, uh, the, the Terraform here, but nope, that's not for anything. I'm not sure what that was that was for anything? I don't know. I, I expect we're going to be seeing more, like, walls and such for a little while. Like, walls of either, either just use lotuses or walls of solo collectors, that kind of thing. I don't expect we're going to be necessarily seeing a lot of of, like, mechs walling for a while. But yeah, that was a new thing. They added, that was added recently is that there's an area command where instead of doing just mexes, you do mexes and then it automatically terraforms walls around them. The the idea is that basically you just defend it without having to use defense turrets against light raids. And for units that fire through terrain, they were also adjusted so that they don't actually worry about terrain. Like, they've been told they can actually fire through terrain, they, they know they can fire through terrain, and so they try it. So it's not like it's going to be this... It shouldn't be a matter of having to, like, de-terraform your opponent's spaces or do some weird micro... It shouldn't require that. should just work. But I would like to actually see it in action. Probably like to see it tested out. But so far, we aren't seeing that at all. So, yeah, we're going to have... For now, just the players. I mean, this is the first day of the patch, so... Do see the adjustment of actually trying out Shield by Factory from a poster. I kind of wonder if the walls might actually not be that effective. To be honest, like, if the players have tried it and it turned out that it really wasn't that useful. I don't know. I think in a map like this, with the way that the metal extractors are laid out, it's probably not a bad idea, but maybe it's not worth it. I mean, compared to just having the Lotus. At any rate, Reposter is relying heavily on the Lotuses, so they are... They're likely to be doing just fine against these Kodachis, and I believe the Kodachis would fire... Or they might not be able to... No, they wouldn't fire through terrain, I don't think. Not super effectively, anyway. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, had a wall here, it might help. I think there still might be splash damage. Worth testing, actually. Because it does look like there is a bit of splash. It could still set the thing on fire. But that's why you test things. It might not be the case. It might work. Who knows? Well, actually, I expect a poster right now. At any rate, Day of the Brave is managing to do quite a lot of damage to Reposter's base. They've just been, they've been hammering on. I mean, Reposter still actually kind of falling behind. Dave expanding reasonably aggressively, actually, over to the south side of the map, just taking that immediately. Don't even want to have to try to contest it. Reposter finally pushing away at least one of the Kodachis. The second Kodachi is still up. It's in a bit of a sweet spot as far as avoiding being hit by defenses goes, but it goes down as well. The bandit's able to take it out, and Reposter still a bit behind economically, but Dave, more importantly, ahead territorially. This is looking bad for Reposter. Getting a couple more Lotuses up, but unfortunately, being that they are playing shield bots, Reposter does have a speed disadvantage. Like, Dave can just run around the map, doesn't have to worry about much of anything, but Reposter, they have to plan, they have to predict, they have to use radar, which they do have, although it's in an awkward position. But they do see an okay amount of the map. And Dave the Brave, they're not really worrying about radar, but they're also faster. They can just scout things out. It's fine. It's really not an issue at all, so for now, Reposter... I mean, they gotta be careful. Trying to defend a Kodachi with two bandits is not going to go well for the bandits. Most of the Kodachi more just going for scouting, see if we can find some free metal extractors to work with. And it's looking like it will, or at least it would if it didn't hit the Lotuses first. So we're poster at the very least managing to at least start up. They're starting to pull things back a bit. They are not completely hosed. But it still has been hard, and this Kodachi, once again, going to be doing a number on all these metal extractors in the back. Once again, providing quite the thorn in the side for a poster. 
Now, Prost, on the other hand, will be able to kill a Lotus, but that should be it. The remaining bandits simply won't have the firepower to kill the Lotus in time. And certainly not enough to then deal with the Metal Extractor, which is unfortunate because these Solar Collectors would have blocked off the vision from the Metal from the Lotus. The bandit, if it had gone and attacked from here, would have actually been able to kill the Metal Extractor with impunity. Oh well. Live and learn, I guess. Or die and learn, in this case. Kodachi, however, over to the north once again, just healing itself up. Dave, consistently hammering Riposter with those Kodachis. Not that it's done a whole lot. Dave actually has kind of fallen behind expansion-wise. So Riposter being slightly ahead, at least in terms of economy, they're relatively even when it comes to attrition, thanks to all those Kodachis that have been dying. So overall, it's not working out too badly for Riposter. The game is still relatively even. Our poster has managed to expand a fair bit on the side. I mean, Dave's position here in the south is definitely going to be a problem for Riposter going forward. Because it provides a nice attack angle. But Riposter, I don't think they care. Going for a forward assault right on this Lotus. There's, it's one damaged Lotus is not going to be enough. These bandits will be able to just run through everything. Kill off a couple of metal extractors. Maybe get some solar collectors if they're lucky. But a little tough in terms of timing. But still, cuts a lot of the energy production. Kill some metal production on top of that. And yeah, there's a solar collector down as well. Why not? For good measure. Take out the solar plants. Fortunately, being ignored a bit, Reposter. Gotta get away from there. Do not, do not let those ogres catch up. Otherwise, those bandits will die. Oh, if they take out this, this welder, that's gonna be huge. The welder is looking unhealthy, but the Kodachi's coming in to save the day. The welder, the welder barely survives. Oh, that is that is unfortunate. That welder is the priority target. If like, That being alive means that this can be rebuilt so fast. Not to mention all the reclaim. If that had died, I mean, there are no other welders in the map. Oh, sorry, there's two other welders in the map that are far enough away that it would be still worth it. And no other welders right here is the important thing. Still, Reposter continuing to press the advantage. At the very least, press what they think is the advantage. Unfortunately, they did donate a fair amount of metal. Once that reclaim is taken, Dave will probably be ahead, and it's really just a matter of the energy production. Reposter took out a bunch of power plants, and now Dave the Brave's kind of stuck. Although, well, they lost three solar collectors. I guess it's not that stuck. Six energy wouldn't really save them right now. So part of it is that. Part of it is the fact that Dave simply didn't build enough solar plants. But either way, Reposter has an advantage to work with. Right, they are able to use all their build power, use all their metal, even at reclaim. They do have to deal with the ogres, but I mean, rogues are a good choice for that, so they are probably fine. Yeah, Dave the Brave, they're running into a bit of a problem here. I half expect blitzes to be fielded pretty shortly, though. I think Kodachis are still what Dave has confidence in. I mean, the Kodachis are doing a good job, so I can't blame them for sticking with those. But they might be not long for this world. I mean, if Dave continues with them and Reposter is able to counter, then, well, obviously Reposter is going to be able to completely win out. Right now, though, it remains even. And I thought I auto banned people who did that. Anyway. Reposter? What have you got here? You've got. Well, you've got not much to worry about, actually. The welder over to the south has just been killed off by a couple of lotuses. So that southern expansion is wide open. Can be taken out at, at Reposter's leisure. Northern expansion getting hit by ogres, but one of them is going to go down to the lotus forest. Second one will be able to take it out, but still, that's not value. That is not value for Dave. Like, lotus is 90. Is that 270 metal for 550 metal? Yeah, or 500 metal, rather. Reposter winning out the attrition game there. Same time, Reposter's got this solid force in the center of the map. That's looking scary. Not much is here to deal with it. Two Lotuses, but right next to each other. And the splash off the rogues is going to completely wipe them out. This looks like it's not going to be too solid a defensive position. The Kodachi's coming in to try to help out. But that's really all there is. The bit of help. Same time, the Ogre over to the north. Natalie taken out. Distracted by the Convict. 
Rogue's able to deal some free damage in here. At the same time, over the center of the map, the Kodachi's being picked off one by one. Able to take out quite a few bandits in the process, but it's only going to be so effective. Especially if that ogre does go down. It is, however, forced to retreat. Reposter did lose a few metal extractors over to the north, though. They need to rebuild those. They are going to be falling behind otherwise. But Dave the Brave, at this point, largely relying on reclaim. And I'm actually kind of surprised. Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't seen felons. I'm actually not that surprised. They've... Well, I don't know. I mean, felons would work. 680 metal? Or 680 HP? Yeah, felons would actually be a really good choice here. I mean, for this composition, it wouldn't synergize well, but... It would get rid of the Kodachi. Same time, though, Reposter with the Lotus push. Yes, looks like it might be able to at least hold off for now. I mean, the important thing is it's a distraction right now. Kodos can kind of go around the map and maybe deal with some other stuff, but I just... Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with this composition, to be honest. I mean, if we're worried about Kodas, he got Snitch. Snitch deals lots of damage. Snitch deals enough damage. 1,200 damage is more than enough to get rid of all these Kodas. Now, even with the splash fall-off, it's still... Still plenty. I mean, anywhere the Kodas are attacking, they're being wiped out. Especially right... Oh, man, right here. A few bandits do go down, but all of the Kodas go down, and bandits are half the cost. So, yeah, it kind of worked out. Actually, bandits are half the cost. Yeah, they're, they're less than half the cost. But unfortunately, at the same time, a lot of assets down south were lost to the Kodachis. And again, I don't know, Reposter is being very restrictive in how they build this army. I do think throwing in a few snitches, we saw last game with Kingstead, throwing in a few snitches do wonders against vehicle factories. Like, it is an amazing tool to have. But we aren't seeing it. I mean, Kodachis obviously will stop it if they see it coming, but the point is you, you put it in position at obvious choke points. Kodachis come in there, they just die. So these raiding Kodachis end up being killed off. Because the forward, the forward Kodachis are not doing so hot. I mean, the rogue support is doing wonders. There have been quite a few bandits to help deal with this as well, but actually that was enough Kodachis to push through. That was enough Kodachis to break through regardless. Dave actually managed to get some damage in there. And again, I really wish there were some felons... Felon Thug would work out nicely here. Like, honestly, it would work better. It would be because it wouldn't have to worry about the fact that Kodachis are fast. The Kodachi speed would no longer be a problem. But even then, Dave is not getting too far ahead when it comes to attrition, but they are slowly gaining the lead there. Reposter was relying on an economic advantage, but that economic advantage has been nullified having lost the southern expansions. Poster at least able to rebuild over to the north. And get a fair bit of reclaim here. At least get some of the reclaim. It's a little out of range from the caretaker, but there's a convict up front. Setting up for the defenses for that. So Reposter does have some reclaim forthcoming. Like, solid reclaim forthcoming. Dave the Brave working on the same reclaim field, though, with three welders. I mean, that's... 22 metal per second coming in from the Wellers alone. Those bandits, if they were able to kill them, that is going to be a highly effective kill. Actually, not the bandits, the rogues. But every one of those goes down. That's 7.5 metal per second Dave the Brave cannot have. One goes down. Second one is still vulnerable. Third one, I think, is protected. No, it's not protected by the Stinger. They're all vulnerable. They're all highly vulnerable. And that's enough. Second one goes down. Third one will soon follow. Kodachi going in the main base. Struggling once again. Outlaws coming out, though. That's what I... That's... I want to see that. I definitely want to see that. You mix that in with the forces of the Kodachis, lose the advantage they have. The speed advantage and all that. That just goes right away. Emissary, however, coming in there. Help counter out the rogues. Doing a solid job. Unfortunately, that stinger is going to be a real problem to push through. I mean, the bandits aren't the worst choice, but then, of course, the lotuses are here. That means the bandits can't easily move in. And there are not enough bandits here. Do not move in. Do not move in, Reposter. This is not the time. And unfortunately, they moved in. It was not the time. Stinger is coming up for Reposter, but it's taking forever to come up. It looks like it's not going to be completed in time. But actually, it's coming in. I mean, the problem is that Stinger comes up. That's going to be taken out by the emissaries. 
But actually doing what they can, though. The Emissary is somewhat distracted by the bandits. Buys a stinger a bit of time, but all that'll do is just kind of open things up a little bit. Not really all that much. Second stinger, however, comes in from Dave the Brave over to the south of this fight. Rogue's trying to help out. Dave's commander, whoever will be able to heal that quickly enough. Or the stinger is up for reposter. At least provides them a bit of room to breathe, get the reclaim going. And of course, they do have the production to use that reclaim. They have switched over to Thug. Now, are we going to see Felon? So far, no. It's pure Thug Law. Same time, though, Kraposter's commander has gone over to the back of the base. Oh, this is too risky. This is way too risky. Kraposter's commander has basically signed their own death warrant. Not sure why they went for pickets here. Although, I guess range kind of makes sense, but unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. Thankfully for them, they do outrange the... Oh, no, they don't! Not well enough! Killed on the hill! Reposter sacrificing their commander for nothing, losing the stinger at the same time. This is looking dire. Reposter, they are going Thug Felon. It's a solid choice to deal with the Kodachi. But having lost their commander, that's... Yeah, that's a lot of metal loss. That's economy lost. Dave the Brave way ahead, largely due to reclaim, but again, it's these buried caretakers doing the work. Reclaim field in the center has largely been wiped out, though. So it's going to come down to static economy pretty soon. Well, for the most part, when the stingers coming in here from Dave the Brave is not lasting against the rogues. This is looking like Dave the Brave's commander might have overextended themselves. Felon coming in as well with the thugs. The thugs will help deal with the stinger. So the stinger creeping is going to be a problem to push through. Poster, however, a solid control of the north. Unfortunately, might need another caretaker. Actually, does need another caretaker. Looking a little dire. Just get rid of one of the stingers. Second stinger still sh will soon fall. And again, thug shields just completely wipe this out. A little tricky with the use of the felon, though. This was more meant to deal with the Kodachis rather than deal with everything else. But the Kodachis, now they're being dealt with by the Lotus is just fine. Do manage to take out a convict, though, which is unfortunate. Oh, and they will take out the storage as well. Not sure why the storage is built so far forward, honestly. That should have been built further in the back. I I do question a lot of her posters' construction ordering decisions, but that's fine. They will be able to at least get rid of this southern expansion. Oh, they are going all in on the southern expansion. I don't totally agree with that. I think the bandits... I guess the lotuses, the bandits will be enough. Because fighting the lotuses one at a time. Because the way they're spread out, the bandits are coming in from an angle that will fight them one at a time. But no, Reposter just going for that directly. I don't agree. Just with the ogres bearing down on the northern bases, Reposter cannot afford to split their army this way. But they're doing it anyway. So that's how it's going to go. And the way things were positioned, did Reposter know? No, Reposter had no idea. They had no radar or anything. They had no coverage of this. Had they scattered it out, they would have seen that the bandits could have just gone in in a line and taken out the lotuses one at a time. It would have been safe. But, so it goes. So it goes. That happens. Oh yeah, sorry, there's a spam message that came in. It's normally supposed to be auto-deleted, but I guess the auto-deletion thing I was using is disconnected for some reason. Anyway. Back to the game. Reposter has been able to take out the southern expansion, at least. Did lose their northern expansion partially, but they took out a couple ogres in the process. So I, I suppose I spoke too soon. That, that wasn't a waste. Fortunately, not taking out the Minotaur, the Emissary, it's just... Target priority has been a bit of a problem for Reposter's forces. Well, you see a lot of weak units here, but these... The Welder and Emissary could be dead. Actually, if the Welder was dead, that'd be, that'd be huge. That is always the priority. Constructor units are always priority. All the time. If you can kill a Constructor unit, it is generally worth it, even if you sacrifice a small squad to do so. Looks like your poster, however, is deciding, you know what, I'm just going to push in. I don't care about this ogre. It'll be dealt with. Just need to push in, possibly force all of Dave's forces to retreat. Four Minotaurs, though, is a lot of forces coming in here. I mean, that's getting Strider level in terms of cost and actually in terms of firepower as well. This is one thing the Felons will not be able to deal with well. Like, this is the exact counter to Mass Felon. Thankfully, there's only one Felon. So it's largely not relying on Felon. It's relying on Rogue primarily. 
But still, this is the counter. Several very tanky units coming in here. The Felon will burn all the... No, that's going to burn all the shields. This will turn entirely around. The Minotaur should be able to take out everything now. Felon's basically out of shields. Trying to leech them off the thugs. But the thugs are losing them rapidly. Far too rapidly for the Felon to use them as ammo. One of the Minotaurs might go down. But that's at the cost of the entire army. This was very much worth it for Dave. This could easily... I mean, as much as Reposter has kind of been gaining an advantage, this could easily turn it around, just losing their entire main force for one Minotaur. Felon, however, is gone. That actually was... That, that's good. That helps Reposter right now, the fact that they lost that Felon. Like, I said Felon because of the Kodachis, but we're not dealing with Kodachis anymore. We're dealing with Minotaurs. And Minotaurs, they completely wreck Felons. They, they tank them out, and then the rest of the army gets destroyed for lack of shields. You have, to, you have to kind of micro around that. Either get the felon to just hold fire or pull it back. Because it is going to be doing you more harm than good. Looks like that is going to be the it, it for the felon. Oh no, one more felon has been built. Why is it being held back? This army is unfortunately dead. That was a huge win for Dave. That was absolutely massive. And Reposter... Okay, I think... Sorry, people complaining about this stuff being overpowered, especially when they're using, like, half of the options and not using them optimally, bugs me. Bugs me greatly. Please do not do that. Like, Kodachis, yeah, they're dealt with by felons. Minotaurs do deal with felons, but... They're dealt with by... I mean, they don't have a high DPS. And they are still 800 metal. I mean, that's 10 bandits. For one Minotaur. Whereas it looks the DPS of the Minotaur, I mean, that's 160 DPS. Would kill, like, one bandit. Against 86, well, 860 when you count it in total. But the reload rate's so high that, yeah, like I said, it's... Again, it's, it's the reload rate. The DPS isn't really the best measure here. It's like... One bandit will die every four seconds. But ten bandits will murder a Minotaur every ten seconds. So you'd lose, like, so you have, like, you know, 12, 13 bandits. Or 10 bandits for one Minotaur would be probably enough. 12, 13 would be more than enough. Ogres, however, do deal with the bandits. Like, that's just the thing with 0k. Units counter units. I don't know. Oh, I see. Astro pointing out that this storage probably was meant to be a pylon. Because they do have the same shape. And actually, that is a bit of a problem. Wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe adjust that model. But that'll come later. Because you do often want pylons and forward, but not... Oh, yeah, and of course, I forgot to mention snitches. Or I didn't forget to mention. I actually mentioned several times snitches against Minotaurs. I mean, not bad. They do soften them up. Against Kodachis, they're amazing. And again, a lot of that's what this game boiled down to is the fact that Kodachis were not dealt with. Like, felons are being used against Minotaurs, not Kodachis. Snitches are weren't being really used at all. Racketeers weren't being used. Like, was there a gentleman's agreement on not using racketeers? Those are amazing against Minotaurs. That's pretty much the counter unit for Minotaurs, is Racketeers. But they also do a number on a lot of other units in the tank factory, like Ogres. So yeah, I don't, I don't understand why tanks aren't overpowered, it's just a matter of using the right tools. Though I will agree that tanks have some rather strong, somewhat generalist units, like Kodas. Kodas and Ogres have a lot of things they can fight pretty effectively. Like, Ogres do kind of operate in this weird riot skirm position. And Minotaurs, of course, have a ton of HP. But, yeah, Lars is just not dealing with the Kodas. That was a big part of it. Outlaws coming in, unfortunately, kind of positioned wrongly. Reposter just sort of panicking, not really sure where to put any of their units. And... Yeah, unfortunately, just a lot of this is coming out of positioning. Also, coming down to the fact that Dave does just have a larger army at this point. Like, significantly larger army. And even then, a lot of stuff is being damaged. I mean, there's only one Minotaur left. The Ogres can be wiped out pretty quickly by... Also, 500 metal. Always worth noting. 500 metal. This is the thing. Dave has 8,000 metal attrition advantage. So it's not even a matter of army size, per se. It's that... Tanks are super expensive individually, but Dave has done a great job keeping them alive well enough to actually deal enough attrition damage. But for cost, there's a lot of stuff you can do to 
to deal with it. It's just that that wasn't properly done. Like, bandits don't really deal with Konachis. This is where the felon would shine. But they would do a pretty good job against Minotaurs, but not against Ogres. But then again, that's where Rogues shine. I don't know. Reposter is just... I just... I don't know. I don't like people call things OP. I feel like there's... I I see a lot more room to experiment with the ways that Shieldbot, Shieldbot units could be used against tanks. And for different units to be used against different compositions and just generally account for the fact that tanks are very expensive and David the Brave had a massive attrition advantage. A lot of that came out of the code as not being properly dealt with. But even then, at that point in the game, it was fine. Really, where it turned around, because it was like, you know, within a few thousand metal, where it turned around was where the felons died. Like when a poster lost their felons around here, they lost their felon, lost their main army. That's when things fell apart. When all the minotaurs came in and just the felon couldn't do anything against them. But unfortunately, that was that wasn't done. So yeah, and I just think, yeah, Shieldbot. I don't think you can quite go for as much of a generalist force in a sense. But I don't think that they're underpowered. I think it's just a matter of accounting for cost. It was like 175 for the basic raider, 500 for a riot unit. Tanks are super expensive. And again, to put it in perspective, one of these is like two and a half bandits. The felon is like two of these. I'm not even joking. Felons are what? 400 metal, I think? I'm trying to remember offhand, but. God, I don't have any thing to remind me where it is. No, I don't know. I mean, outlaws are 250, but they're not going to be the best counter for that. I want to say felons are four or 500. They're, like, they're on par. They're two Kodachis. Two and a half, maybe. That's the thing that you have to bear in mind when fighting tanks is that. Tanks are very expensive. And if they start winning on attrition, then they're going to really come ahead. But if you can keep that down, and Reposter was doing a good job keeping that down, then you're fine. Anyway, that is that. And that's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching. And have a good night, everyone.